We're going to call this equation 1, which will be NH3, O2, and this will be 4NO, or balancing it, NH2O, uh, 4 in front of the NO, 6 in front of the H2O, 5 in front of the O2, and a 4 in front of the NH3. So that's properly balanced. Then our second equation, call it equation 2. And we'll balance this by placing coefficients 4, 7, 4, and 6. So initially, we have 2 moles of NH3 and 10 moles of O2. Now, we're told that 6.75 mole of oxygen remains. So if oxygen remains, then oxygen must be present in excess. NH3 must be the limiting reagent. So, therefore, the mole of oxygen reacted would be the initial amount minus the amount that remains in excess. So, the amount of oxygen that's reacted is 3.25 moles. So, let's set up a relationship. So, from equation 1 we can set up a relationship that one mole of oxygen is equal to five fourths a mole of NO. And from equation two, we can also find that one mole of oxygen is equal to seven fourths mole of NO2. Therefore, we can come up with a, a relationship here that five fourths of a mole of NO plus 7 fourths a mole of NO2 will be equal to the amount of O2 that reacts, which is equal to 3.25 grams. Let's set up another relationship. So from equation one, one mole of NH3 is equal to one mole of NO and from equation two, one mole of NH3 is equal to one mole of NO2. So we can set up another relationship here that the mole of NO plus the mole of NO2 is equal to 2.00, which is the starting amount of NO2, uh, or NH3, sorry. So we're gonna substitute and solve both of these equations. So substitutes and solve the system of two equations. So we'll start with the mole of NO2 is equal to 2.00 minus the mole of NO. And we'll substitute this into uh, the first equation that we created. So we got 5 fourths mole of NO plus 7 fourths 2.00 minus mole of NO, and this is going to be equal to 3.25. And if we multiply everything by 4, we'll get 5 moles of NO plus 7 2.00 minus mole of NO is equal to uh, 13. Therefore, 5 moles of NO plus 14 minus 7 moles of NO is equal to 13. Negative 2 moles of NO is equal to... Uh, negative 1 divided by negative 2 on both sides and therefore we can find that the mole of NO is equal to 0 0.50 moles.
And there's our answer. That's the number of moles.